Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a hole on a cylindrical face. Let's start by inserting a reference plane. Now we'll select this face and an offset distance, 25 millimeters. Let's flip the direction by checking here and click OK. Now let's right click on plane one and insert a sketch. Take a normal two view. And let me place a couple construction lines now. Right click and select to close the tool. Now let's place two sketch points. Select. Let's select this point and shift select this line and this edge and add an intersection relation. Same thing here, this point, this line, and shift select the edge and add an intersection relation. Let's apply a dimension now. 45 degrees. OK. And we're ready to exit the sketch. Let's take an isometric view. And let's hide plane one. Right click, hide. Before activating the hole wizard, I'm going to select this cylindrical face. You don't have to do this before activating the wizard. You can make the selection from the positions tab. However, if I select first and then activate the tool, I get a preview of the hole as soon as I activate the tool. And let's choose our type, countersink, standard and symmetric, size M8, end condition. Let's choose up to next. And let's go to the positions tab now. The cursor tells me I'm on the XY plane, and the fact that I see these X and Y symbols here means I'm in the 3D sketch environment. Let's right click and select to exit this action. Now select this point, and let's shift select this point and add a coincident relation. OK. Let's select this face, take a normal two view. As you see here, the hole originates slightly above the cylindrical face. Let's scroll down to Options on the Type tab of the Property Manager. Let's check Head Clearance and set it at 1 millimeter. Tab to Register. And let's Accept. Let's take an isometric view. And unselect everything. Now we're going to insert a reference plane. Let's select this point and this line, and accept. While the plane is selected, I'm going to activate the whole wizard. Let's scroll down and reverse the direction by clicking here. End condition, up to next. And let's go to the Positions tab. Right click and select to exit this action. Select this point and this point. And let's apply a coincident relation. Accept. Now let's return to the Type tab. Reverse the direction. Let's keep the same head clearance and accept. Now when I expand this whole feature in the design tree, we see that the first hole placement sketch is a 3D sketch. The second sketch is a 2D sketch. And this concludes our lesson about creating a hole on a cylindrical face.